Okay, so ever since I got my WiMAX at display, I wanted to try out dual monitor support and I've been waiting to do a video and I just thought I'd go through various different operating systems and things that work with dual monitor support. And this is Pistolero by Keo Deakin and it's a, a light gun build of Supreme RetroPie and it works really well. So I'm using my 8 gig Pi 4 and you can see I've got the two monitor cables plugged in. Uh, the one nearest to the power supply is going to my main monitor, uh, my 24 inch monitor and then the second one is going to the WiMAX, which is a touchscreen display, but I'm not going to use it for touchscreen in this configuration. But uh, things like RetroPie have this marquee option, and uh, what you'd really do is have this above this monitor. Uh, that's a bit tricky for me at the moment, so what I'll do is let's move this inward so it's directly underneath. There you go, that'll do. And there's probably a way of doing this in the menus, but I'm just going to swap over the two HDMI cables. Make sure I don't unplug the USB-C. So you imagine if you had this in an arcade cabinet, this would be pretty cool. Right, hopefully it will come back on. Oh, here we go, I've got sound coming from the monitor now. There you go, just turn that down. So on this build, uh, if you flick through the games and then launch a game, something happens to the top part. So imagine this is the arcade screen in an arcade cabinet and the top part is just showing you something extra about the game. So if I pick, uh, let's go for Desert Gun. Now this uh, build plays a video every time. I'll skip past that just in case there's anything dodgy in it. And you can see the splash screen keeps changing at the top. Uh, and it all just ties in really nicely. But I'm not going to concentrate on games for this. I was really going to do operating systems, but I, I'd, I'd always been meaning to try this, and it is really cool. And I haven't paired my light gun yet, so I'm still on controller. I keep meaning to use this Dolphin bar, uh, but I just haven't got around to it. Anyway, let's have a look at some more operating systems. Okay, so here's Windows 10, and uh, my mouse pointer is on my left-hand screen at the moment, but if I move over to the left-hand side of the screen, it appears over here, and that can all be changed in the settings, and I'll, I'll have a look at that in a second. But it's thanks to the on the Discord, and also Amir for getting me through the last steps to be able to get this working. Uh, and it actually works really well. I'm surprised uh, that, so this is two 1080 monitors uh, running, and the performance seems pretty decent. Uh, when I've been launching things, uh, and when I've been playing around with settings and things like that, it, uh, it actually seems to be working pretty well. So you can see I've launched a couple of things here. Let's drag this Parkdale over to this screen. And then I've got my web browser on this screen. So if I was just to type in, say, BBC. But I do need to change the settings uh, so that I've got, that I move to the left-hand side of the screen that appears on this monitor. So let's sort that out. Okay, so if I go into display settings, uh, you can see that I've got the monitors here, and if I press identify, uh, at the moment it says three is on my screen, which is on the right, so it's the wrong way around. So I just need to swap these over. There you go, so one is on the left, which is my little Y exit screen, and three is on the right, click apply. And now if I move from right to left, you can see my mouse pointer go across and onto the other screen, so it's over here now. So let's launch a few things, uh, so for instance folders, and web browser, and what else can we do, Visual Boy Advance, which is a Game Boy Advance emulator, let's pop that over onto here, oh I need an app to open something, uh, oh it's going to open the Windows Store, but you can see uh, basically we've, we've got more, more space, I can switch between screens, I've got my Parkdale here, uh, I've got uh, my, so if I do open and then pick a ROM, you can see that comes up. I don't know if that goes full screen. Oh yeah. Uh, so that goes full screen and uh, let's have the web browser on here and let's do a search for Hot UK Deals. And it doesn't seem to have affected the performance. It doesn't really feel that different uh, as it normally feels. And I've always tended to run this in 720. And this is my slower build of Windows 10. This is running from an SD card. I'm gonna do the SSD one in a separate video showing how to enable dual, dual monitor support in this. Um, but uh, yeah, really impressed with that. Right, let's move on to something else. And before I go on to the next OS, uh, FlexiSpot, who sent me this standing desk, 
uh, have asked me to uh, mention that they've got a brand day on the 25th of May uh, and there's 32% off flash deals from May 24th to May 30th and 15% off all products site-wide. Uh, and it, it just is a brilliant desk. So I've got little arrows on here so I can basically change the height, but I've also got presets. Uh, so if I hold it, you can see that it will go to 85, something like that. Um, so, oh no, lower than that. Does it go? 71 is the lowest it will go, which is seriously low. I don't know if you can even see it on the camera. Um, but if I press one of the presets, it will take itself up to the level that I've put it at. I've got a separate video of me trying it out, but it's definitely changed the way I work. Uh, I pretty much do all my videos stood up. I quite often do a lot of editing stood up. I just prefer it. I just find it more comfortable, especially if I'm moving around all this and trying things out rather than sitting down and leaning over things. It, it's really changed it. And if I didn't have one, knowing what I know now, I'd definitely buy one again. Anyway, on to the next OS. Okay, so Twister OS, my favorite OS on the Pi, uh, does this. So uh, it recognizes dual monitors, um, but the way I've got them plugged in, uh, I need to switch that over. Uh, so what I can do is go down to the bottom here and type in display and click on that. I do love the menus on Twister. Uh, and I just need to swap these two over. So if I do that and click apply, it will change, and you probably saw it, to my smaller monitor, my Y Maxit monitor. And at the moment, if I right click and do desktop settings, uh, it's called up a menu on the other screen. And you can configure each screen. So if I want to change the wallpaper on this right hand screen, then I can. And I've got in pictures. So say I wanted to do that one. Uh, and then close that. So now if I zoom back out and let's launch a few things. Uh, so let's go for Raspberry Pi Imager because I use that all the time. And we'll do Chromium as well. So everything launches on this main screen, but if I hold it and drag it, I can get it over on this big screen. So, our UK deals, and then if I wanted to do, so I've got, I've got something I'm writing with Raspberry Pi Imager, I can call up my folders, and it just, it runs really well. It, it is really nice using dual desktops. I have used it before on, on a few other systems. Uh, my son's used it for ages uh, for his gaming and things like that. It is, it's impressive as to how well it works. Uh, so let's get one more thing up. Uh, so let's go for Commander Pi. And then if we want to, we can drag that over to here. Yeah, super impressive. And I didn't really have to do any proper configuration. It just detected it and worked. So on to the next OS. So Ubuntu Mate works great. And uh, I wasn't sure if it would because someone has sent me a message saying that it didn't work with Ubuntu and uh, they'd sent me a fix for it. And I was uh, going to include that in this video, but as it works, there's no need for that. So if I start typing in display, displays, I, d I do find the menus uh, very logical in Ubuntu and Mate and Lubuntu and all of that. They are really nicely done. So here are the two monitors. Uh, so if I drag this green one down to the bottom, is that going to be the right way around? Yeah, so if I move my mouse pointer up, you can see it go onto the top screen and down onto the bottom screen. So keep configuration. Uh, and uh, obviously the wallpaper had, had matched on both and everything, so that was all fine. Does this look okay? Yes, it does. And drag in between the two. And if I open Firefox and do a search for Lee PSP video, yeah, all working fine. There you go, yeah, working nicely. On to the next. Couldn't seem to get Kali Linux to work. I know this looks like Windows, but this is in undercover mode. So if I start typing undercover, let's just switch it back to the standard Kali skin. There we go. Uh, and if I go for things like displays or monitors, uh, it just doesn't seem to detect it. So it doesn't seem to think there's more than one monitor there. I have tried uh, configuring new displays when connected and various other things I've tried turning off and on, but it didn't seem to work. 
But if you know a way of doing this and it's something you use, if you pop it in the comments, it will help others. So Munker Phoenix Jaro, which is based on Manjaro, comes up fine. Uh, different wallpapers. I, I sometimes find if you've changed the default wallpaper, which this build would have done, uh, it often doesn't match up the wallpapers, but you can obviously do that yourself. So if I right click the bottom one, what does it say? Desktop preferences. Yeah, so I could change that display. Let's just see that that works. Yeah, so that works fine. Uh, and then say something like monitors. So if I go over to the right, so I haven't set this up so that it's above it in the systems. So if I go to preferences, monitor settings. So I've got both monitors there. Oh, I haven't got an easy way to um, switch between the two. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Oh, but look, position on left. So position below. Is that the right way around? No, done that the wrong way around. So bought. So position needs to be above. Oh, that's a different way of doing it, but that works fine. Apply and OK. And close that down. Yeah, so now I can move the mouse pointer from the bottom to the top. Uh, this is a very fast operating system, really works well. So if I start Firefox and Chromium, uh, and then we'll drag one of them to the bottom screen. So which one's this? Yeah, drag that down there, let, and then go up to the top screen. So I've got Firefox up here, uh, BBC, and let's just do YouTube on this one. Oh, and we've got the Google thing. It's in a different resolution, the top one in it. I think I must have it in 720, but it did look very, very easy to change it. Uh, and YouTube on here. Let's get that full screen and then go back up here to the menus, preferences, system tools. Yeah, everything seems to work. It doesn't seem to have affected the performance. I was thinking that dual monitors would have affected the performance by quite a bit because the resolution can often change the performance of an OS but I haven't actually found that they perform that badly at all. Right, let's try something else. So this is what happens when you try and do FIDO S, which is uh, based on like a Chromebook operating system. And this is the version that has the Android Play Store as well. So you can see it's detected my wire exit monitor and the top one is starting to do something. So you can see it's come up on the top monitor if I log in. Uh, it just doesn't seem to detect the second monitor at all. You can see my uh, YMAX has turned itself off now, so if it doesn't detect a signal for a certain amount of time, it just turns itself off. There you go. So no dual monitor support. I did go through the settings, couldn't find anything on it at all. So let's try something else. So this is 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS. You can see it's done that thing where it does the wallpaper and uh, it needs configuring because uh, it's not set up for top and bottom screen. So if I go into preferences, screen configuration, uh, very, very easy. So HDMI 1 is my top monitor, I think. So let's do it that way and click. Click OK. Yeah. So now I'm moving on the bottom and the top screen. And if I right click here, desktop preferences, how easy is it to change? Oh, look. So you can see here it says desktop HDMI 1, desktop HDMI 2. Uh, so I can choose which one I do it to. So let's change that. Uh, and have I got something recently used, that's probably the same one as on the main screen. Click OK, yeah, as expected, works perfectly well. And exactly the same experience with 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS, which was expected, but I thought I'd better check. So let's try Dospian. I haven't tried this for a while. This is running MS-DOS games on a Pi, but it's got like a sort of uh, MS-DOS interface. So if I go to my directory and have a look, uh, so CD games, I'm not sure what I've got on here at the moment. Uh, I think I've got another version of DOSPian. Yeah, I haven't got very much on this. So CD Doom and Doom. And you can see that it's working. Unfortunately, the second monitor is not showing anything at all. I will skip out into the options and see if there's anything in there. Uh, let's just see if this is working. Yeah, that's working absolutely fine. So uh, let's quit out of that. And yes. And if I do exit, that takes me back to this sort of main menu. There's loads of stuff in here. 
I couldn't see anything about uh, dual monitors, but I could be wrong. Maybe someone's got it to work, but it kind of doesn't go with the operating system in some ways. Anyway, let's go on to the next. So Ubuntu works with dual screen just to text it straight away. You don't have to do anything at all. Uh, obviously, you have to configure where your screen is, whether it's above, below, left or right. And so we go into settings and start typing display. There you go, displays comes up. And you can see here, so one being the main screen. So if I drag that above, I would say apply. It's just, I really do like the menus. I know I've gone about it, all the Ubuntu distros. Um, the menus are just really, really logical. So keep changes. Okay, that was the wrong way around. So I need to put that on there and then apply. And on the bottom screen, it says keep changes. So I'll click that. And yeah, if I move to the bottom of this screen, it goes on to the bottom screen. Excellent. So this is Android. And uh, initially the first display came on with the rainbow screen, but then it stopped. And uh, I tried this yesterday and it seems to get to a certain point and just stop. Uh, it works on single monitor, but as soon as you add in a second monitor, it actually doesn't like it and uh, and it crashes Android, which is a bit strange. And the same thing happened with Android TV as well. So Android definitely doesn't like dual monitors on the Pi. And there's the crash. So as you can see, Recall Box recognizes dual screens. Uh, I haven't really got any ROMs or done any scraping on this build at the moment, but also it's looking like it needs an update. So I'm going to run the update and have a play around with that separately. I couldn't see any settings on Pi Mega, um, but uh, if it's important to you, it might be worth checking with the developer because it might be possible. And last up, MX Linux. Let's have a look and see. Oh, we've got monitors under appearance. Oh, that's a different type of monitor. Uh, so settings and display. Oh yeah, so the same sort of thing as Raspberry Pi OS. So tick that. Yep, so it's done something weird with the uh, the dock here, but obviously you can move the dock to somewhere else on the display. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.